What is up everybody, Escape211 here, and today we're doing another hero review. This time we're gonna talk about the OP and controversial Quelling. All right, now a lot of people have been talking about a possible nerf for her, but before all that stuff happens, let's take a look at her kit. She has the compound bow, which does a ton of damage per shot, and it can actually charge and make it even more powerful. And this thing has unlimited ammo, no reload needed. Uh, so super, super, super strong. Um, great for the headshots, and we'll talk about that more. Snare Bomb is her active ability, so it will toss out a bomb, does a lot of AoE damage, and slows the target, makes it easy for you to finish them off. Blast Arrow is her first um, ultimate, super strong. She jumps up in the air, gets a temporary shield, and just does a ton of damage with Blast Arrows on the ground. Very, very effective. Uh, I love this one. The other one that we have is Whirlwind. I don't have that one yet, but she shoots out a Whirlwind that um, hits enemies up in the air uh, and just hits, you can hit a bunch of them, so it actually be very effective for team play. Um, I don't, like I said, I don't have it, but. Infrared Scan is also super good. Uh, it will hit from a 30 meter range from around Hwelling and then uh, show you the targets, like a wall hack, similar to like, sorry for uh, uh, similar to um, either Mark or, um, uh, Hunter, but uh, her kit overall is super good and that's why a lot of people are talking about a nerf for her uh, Specifically either how her hitbox and her regular arrow works um, And her ultimate so we're gonna we're gonna talk about that as we play here um, It actually has been confirmed that that is going to happen some kind of nerf I don't know exactly what they're going to do. They've talked about a few different options. The hitbox is the big one um, I I don't really play hauling hauling much uh, I think when she first came out, I was a little gun shy, and I've just been focusing on so many other heroes first because she came out later. But you'll see, um, it's actually, yeah, see, someone came up. I hit him right away, but I didn't hit the headshot yet. Uh, and that one, there we go, we got the headshot there. And uh, is there another one over there? Or is that one just, is that one that we killed and it's still just showing them? That was really weird. Okay, I don't know how that one didn't hit him. But there we go, we got him there. It was like they were frozen or something, I don't know. Um, but uh, the hitbox on the head is really big. It's like 30 or 35 meters, something like that. Her arrow size is only like five meters. So it gives you a really generous hitbox over top of the head. I think they try to do that because the skill level without having a hitbox is way too hard. Um, so they tried to ease that up, but I think they made it just a little too easy, especially given the rest of her kit. So somebody is probably coming around here, yeah. I don't know how that did not hit her. All right, I mean, we got one, but yeah, I'm not I'm not super good with her. And there's the ultimate. Um, but, uh, whoops, getting stuck on that ramp. Uh, the ultimate, like that, she jumps up in the air. What's crazy, too, is she gets a temporary shield. Another potential nerf is either the damage on that or the cooldown, uh, just because that is just, like, too strong as well. There we go, another headshot. Yeah, she can. she's really strong with the one-shot kills once you... Um, you know, charge up a shot. The idea though is supposed to be that, you know, it's it's hard to land the shots, um, but because the hitbox right now is so big, it's not bad. Uh, I don't know why that uh, that Iris is shooting at us from so far away. That's like usually a terrible idea, getting yourself out in the open and shooting at people. Pretty sure that's a player too. So I was kind of surprised, but I'm also not good at hitting her. Maybe she's just challenging me to be like, you can't hit me. There we go. Got her. The only thing that really gives me pause is that Aletta, I think it's near me. I don't know where exactly. All right, now it's getting a couple shots on me. Yeah, I wanted to wait for it to get close to use this. This ultimate is insane. So since I had it ready to deal with that Aletta, I was just like, let just let her get close. It's gonna be the easiest way to kill her while I uh, shoot at other people. And that's really, I feel like the best way to play Hwelling. You wanna stay far away, get your shots, and then when people get up close, you can use that. But she's also lethal up close because she still has that big hitbox and you can still hit people with it. Um, Aletta's just trickier to hit, so I just use the ultimate for her. And um, her active ability, I don't use a ton, but it's also still pretty darn good. Does a lot of AOE damage and then makes it easy for you to finish someone off. Uh, let's see Aletta. Over there. There we go. Okay, had to, <laughs> I just used the uh, active ability to finish that one off. Oh, gosh. Okay. Just got taken out by the uh, the iris there. Yeah, I mean, I've seen people destroy with Hualing. Um, and me, like I said, even someone who does not play her very often, uh, 
doing okay. I mean, I'm not I'm not great with her though. I'm not doing the worst. Where is that Aletta? Up top, I think. All right, let's get up top to help our team out here. Uh, okay, they're not here. Oh, there's the Aletta. Oh no, that's that's the Iris. All right, let's uh, let's finish her off. There we go. Nice. Okay, the Aletta's coming after us. No. Okay, our ultimate. I mean, our active ability hit her, and then we were able to get the shot to finish her off. Nice. The Aletta is the concerning one to me out of the team over there. The the issue with Hualing is that she doesn't have a whole lot of health. Um, but because her kit otherwise is so strong, it's not really a huge deal. Like, that's why she's dominating right now. Her kit is so good, and she just she really just needs something to pull her back. Most characters, like, have some downside that's strong enough. Hers is just not strong enough. Oh, man, that didn't hit her. I thought that was going to hit her. Oh, and because it didn't, I'm screwed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ugh. That's where it gets bad. I didn't have my ultimate ready and my active ability didn't look like it even hit her. I think it hit the steps, but not her that was closer to the ground. So no big deal. We almost got this. Just got to get one more kill. Oh, there we go. Let's take this one here. Easy one to get. Yeah. Finish off with that ultimate. And there we go. Yeah, I mean, 12 knockouts and we were against a couple other players. And I, like I said, I don't really use Welling. I'm not even glory 10 with her. I'm like glory five or something. So like to be, yeah, now glory seven. All right. Uh, to be able to, I'm just doing dailies to be able to like get that much with a hero is insane. So I get the idea of the nerves. I'm not exactly sure what's going to be the best for her. A few things that are talked about, and I'm sure we'll revisit her when that happens, but you guys can let me know what you think are the best changes for her in the comments below. And we'll see you out there on the battlefield.